Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis, where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. INS Vikrant, also known as Indigenous Aircraft Carrier 1, IAC-1, is the first indigenous aircraft carrier constructed by Cochin Shipyard for the Indian Navy. The aircraft carrier was floated out of its dry dock on the 29th of December 2011 and was launched on the 12th of August 2013. The base and trials of the carrier completed in December 2020, and the ship has started the sea trials in January 2021 and expected to enter into service in end of 2021 or early 2022. When she joins the fleet, she will be a key component to India's ability to face China's growing naval reach. As per sources, the INS Vikrant to be integrated with a long-range air defense system. The tender will be given for Barakate Long Range Missile Defense System and it will be installed on INS Vikrant. Barakate, which is also known as LRSAM or MRSAM is surface to air missile, SAM, jointly developed by Indian and Israel. It is designed to defend against any type of airborne threat including aircraft, helicopters, anti-ship missiles, and UFs as well as ballistic missiles, cruise missiles and combat jets. It has both maritime and land-based variants of the system. In the recent conflict of Azerbaijan-Armenia, Israeli defense system consisting of Barak-8 missile, shot down a Russian missile Yerevan fired at Baku. Talking about its feature, the Barak-8 has a length of about 4.5 meters, a diameter of 0.225 meters of missile body, and 0.54 meters of the booster stage, a wingspan of 0.94 meters and weighs 275 kilograms including a 60 kilograms warhead, which detonates at proximity. The missile has maximum speed of Mach 2, with a maximum operational range of 70 km, which was later increased to 100 km. Barak 8 is powered by a dual pulse rocket motor, as well as thrust vector control, and possesses high degrees of maneuverability at target interception range. A second motor is fired during the terminal phase, at which stage the active radar seeker is activated to home in onto the enemy track. An E.R, extended range, variant of the Barakate is under development, which will have maximum range increased to 150 km. Designed to engage multiple beyond visual range threats, the low launch signature Barakate is understood to retain the same autopilot, inertial navigation system and active radar seeker guidance as the Barakate, although some modifications to the software and to the missile control surfaces are likely. The booster increases the length of the missile at launch from its current 4.5 meters to nearly 6 meters, although the length in flight after the booster has been jettisoned may be slightly less than the base Barakate missile. If a TVC is not present, the missile diameter and fin spans are thought to be the same as the base Barak 8. The booster weight is currently unknown, although the missile's weight after the booster has been jettisoned is the same as that for the current Barak 8 configuration. It is not yet confirmed which variant of Barak 8 will be chosen for Indian Navy's aircraft carrier. However, the E.R version will definitely give an edge with additional 50 km of range over its predecessor. Talking about INS Vikrant, initially, it will likely be hosting the existing MiG-29K Fulcrum aircraft. But there is an expectation that a new type will be fielded. India's main aircraft manufacturer, HAL, is developing a dedicated carrier-born fifth-generation fighter. The existence of the new plane, known as DEDF, twin-engine deck-based fighter, was reported by DRDO, Defense Research and Development Organization, in April 2020. More recently it was showcased at Aero India 2021 in February. It is being developed by Aeronautical Development Agency, ADA, part of India's DRDO TBDF seems to be a natural successor of the naval variant of the indigenous Tejas jet. 
that Tejas which is a small single engine fighter did not match with Indian Navy's requirement as Navy was looking for a twin engine aircraft to replace the MiG-29K. However, TBDF program has lots of learning from the Tejas fighter jet program. This was today's update, please let us know your views and opinion regarding the same in comment section. Feel free to suggest any topic on which you want to hear from us. We will be soon back with more amazing development happening in the defense sector.